Hello everybody, I'm so glad to introduce you my new system, which is a foliage interactive system. Right now, here I've painted some foliages onto my landscape and all the foliages here are dynamically interactive with very precise calculations. Let me show you on this foliage. If you start stepping on it, you're gonna bend it and then it's going to go back. If you go from that side, it's gonna bend from that side. Here, it's gonna bend from that side. And it works on all the foliages, the small ones, those, the big ones, and all the variation. Let me walk you through the field and you can see how we are pushing the foliages. Let me show you from the top. The FPS here, as you can see, is consistent, 70 FPS, 80 FPS. It doesn't break the FPS. And the interaction system is pretty consistent. Everything is nanite enabled, the foliages and the landscape, of course. So we can have this boost in the performance. And everything is very accurate over here in this system. And of course, this system and the complete project is available to all the Patreon members, which includes the second tier, the Blueprint Systems, because this is a Blueprint System and it also contains a shader in order to bend those foliages. Even on, on this small one, you can see that you can bend it. All right, so let me quickly show you how you can create a new foliage and add it to the paint system. So you need to go to the foliage interactive system and here under the assets, the foliage, I'm just gonna duplicate this uh, golden rod eight and I'm gonna name it SMF and I'm gonna add a Marilis, right? So this is my new foliage. I'm just gonna double click on it and I'm gonna use the component class, which is my interactive system. And I've created one for the golden rods and you can create different ones per foliage in order for you to have additional control. So I'm just going to drag and drop here this one. And the next step is I need to apply a material over here. So if I go to my material section and my material instancing, I'm just going to create a new material instance from my master material and I'm going to name it MI for material instance, Amari LLIS. I'm going to put it in my material instance folder. And here I've created again some uh, notes over here that you can plug in. So what we need is Albedo texture, normal and RT texture, which is the normal one for Quixel when you download a foliage. And you also have this function for wind. So let me plug the textures here. Just going to minimize this a little bit. This one is ART, all right? This one is for billboards. This one is the diffusion. This one is my normal map and we are ready. I'm going to save this one and then I'm going to open my flower over here. And in the section where you need to apply the materials, I'm just going to go to the material instance and I'm going to apply the new material that we've created over here. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save the SMF file. And the final step is in my character, I've added a BPC foliage interaction component. And here in the data structure, you need to add one more element and we need to add our flower over here, the static mesh. Then I'm gonna compile and save. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna go to my foliage section and I'm gonna go to my foliage folder and the newly created SMF, I'm gonna add it to the foliage type. And right now I'm gonna enable this one and I'm going to disable everything else. And let's start drawing some foliages over here. All right, so we have our foliages. We didn't uh, set up the billboard texture over here, but to enable the billboard texture, you need to create one more material over here in the instance and just plug the billboard textures and connect it here into the material swaths, the one that represent the billboard section. And let's test this out the newly created flowers. And let me see, we start to bend them and it is working pretty good with the flowers itself. See, it calculates the angles which you're intercepting. So if I go from here, it will go in the other direction. And this is pretty much how you can integrate more and more foliages into the system. 
Later on, I'm going to upload one more video in my Patreon with an in-depth review of how this was created. And a YouTube video on how to create this complex foliage system is coming pretty soon on my YouTube page. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more updates from CG Dealers. See you soon. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, and roll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge you are supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video, happy game development, I'm out.